for safety precaution, make sure that the tank is 90% full of water. Next, make sure to remove the weight after you finish the experiment. So for part A, we will manipulate uh, different solid body and also different uh, jet nozzle at the three different storage. Okay, so the general procedure, the first step is we need to open the weight platform. Put the desired jet nozzles into the bottom low uh, vertical shaft, and then uh, we put the desired solid body to the top of the vertical shaft. And then we close the weight platform. So next, we need to make sure that the distance between the jet nozzle and the solid body is 1cm. Okay, so if not, if the distance is not 1cm, we can adjust it here. And then, just confirm back that the distance between the nozzles and the solid body is 1cm. After that, we record the initial height of the weight platform. Okay, next, we need to turn on the pump switch and uh, adjust the control valve until it reaches the desired flow rate. After that, we measure the final height of the weight platform. Lastly, uh, repeat the experiment with different size of um, jet nozzles and different type of solid body at three different fluorids. For part B, we repeat the same procedure where the only difference is uh, we include the load of weight. Alright, so for part B, um, we, may, we manipulate the load of weight instead of the flooring. The first step is we need to open the weight platform. And then we put the desired jet nozzles into the bottom low uh, vertical shaft and then uh, we put the desired solid body to the top of the vertical shaft and then we close the weight platform We need to make sure that the distance between the jet nozzle and the solid body is 1cm. Okay, so if not, if the distance is not 1cm, we can adjust it here. And then just confirm back that the distance between the nozzles and the solid body is 1cm. The next step, uh, we need to make sure the weight platform is the same level with the pointer. After that, we record the initial height of the weight platform. Then, we 
put the desired weight onto the weight carrier. Next, we need to switch on the pump and make sure that the uh, pointer and the weight platform is at the same level. different solid body and also different nozzles to shut down the equipment we need to make sure that the control valve is closed first before we switch off the pump 